today we're going to try and convert this old jack into an off-road jack. Uh, a lot of people are doing it with these one and a half ton ones from Harbor Freight. Uh, there's a conversion kit that you get. It's $150. Put it on this jack. Gives you bigger tires. Extends this up. Works pretty well. It's also the three ton one that's available from Harbor Freight. Uh, that's $300 if I'm remembering correctly. And there's also one from Pro Eagle, if I'm remembering right. And that one's about $550 to $600. But this thing is gonna get thrown in the junk bin. And so there's nothing wrong with it, it works perfect. I just don't ever use it anymore. And so taking up space and it's ugly. So I thought to myself, you know what? Why don't I try and make it useful before I just scrap it? And so I got some larger wheels. These are for a trailer jack. They are rated for 1,200 pounds each, so 2,400 pounds for the two of them. Uh, yes, I know, that's not the capacity of this jack. This jack is actually rated for 4,000 pounds, two tons. But I was thinking about the vehicles that I have and what I'm gonna be using it on, and none of them are very heavy. I doubt that this thing will ever even have 2,400 pounds on it, uh, picking up any corner or the entire rear end of one of my vehicles uh, maybe if I picked up the whole front of one of them, that would put 2,400 pounds on it. But then again, all of the load isn't going to be just on these two front tires. There's also the rear casters that the load is applied to as well. And I'll just be smart and not try to pick it up, you know, with something that weighs, you know, way more than I should be attempting it with. So my rigs are light. I'm not worried about that. Figured this was a good way to test this out and see if it actually works before I spend any real money on it. So these were 20 bucks for the kit of these two. Uh, I have some half inch all thread around. I'll cut that and use it for a new axle. I have a, little, a whole bunch of little pieces of tubing all over the place. Uh, I'll grab a piece of that and make an extension for this. And we'll see how well this works. All right. and everything I just had to clearance a little bit right here for them to fit on there uh, not a big deal everything up in the front worked like I thought it would making this little spacer uh, made it so that it ends up being an extra three inches taller uh, figured that to work pretty well with what I have for uh, 
my Toyota and a couple other rigs that I have. And so I made it so that this stuff can screw on and off. And I just used some bolts that were laying around, you know, cut them and welded them in along with the nuts and stuff like that into the spacer, all that. This net's excessively long at the moment. I'll end up cutting that down. Uh, but it all kind of turned out pretty much exactly like I thought it would. So I think it's going to work just fine. These casters in the back looks like I need to get some that are for a total height of three and a half inches. Try to find something, of course, that is rated for thousand pounds or so and get two of them. And other than that, I think we're good. <laughs>definitely picking it up it is sinking into the ground a little bit the wheels are and that's to be expected but doesn't seem to be having any problem though definitely a longer handle though will be helpful so we'll have to work on that now well, here it is all reassembled with all the wheels on all painted and uh Works pretty good. Doesn't sink into the ground too bad. Uh, picked up the front of the uh, Extend Cab Toyota with it. And the only thing that I have to say is that it needs a longer handle. That handle that I found laying around here. It is a little short. So not only do you kind of have to get underneath the vehicle in order to uh, jack it up. You also don't have much leverage, so kind of sucks. But other than that, this thing not too bad, especially for forty dollars. <laughs>